Good day to everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick tour of Umbraco 7.8 Beta. And 7.8 Beta has a lot of cool things here. In fact, you can read a blog here about all the stuff. And the biggest things that we're going to see is the back office tour that has contextual help. The info tab has been updated, some enhanced load balancing, security improvements, and stuff. So Shannon's got a, uh, a blog entry out there if you want to kind of read rather than watch. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to experience Umbraco 7.8 beta together. I haven't made it farther than this. The only thing I've done is perform the upgrade. Uh, I had to work through a couple bugs that Shannon and Sebastian and the, the core team helped me through. So here we go. So um, I'm going to click through this here so we're not going to um, waste a lot of your time while you're reading. It looks like uh, this is talking about our main menu here. It goes through the sections here. Looks like there's no back button. Perhaps maybe a back button would be useful. Looks like there's uh, 12 steps here, kind of talking about what dashboards do. Um, do, 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 do. There's your search. Hey, there's your profile. Ooh, look at this. And it looks like it wants me to click here. So I'll go ahead and oblige it. Cool. This is very video gamey. I really like it, being a gamer. Uh, next. It would be kind of cool also to have maybe a link to maybe uh, the lessons, which I've kind of heard rumored might exist here. Uh, if we click on the help here, looks like, okay, all right, this I think is called the drawer. This is pretty cool. Next, next, next. Looks like uh, we're in a get started tour here, and this is likely Umbraco TV links here. I can't click on any of them yet, I don't think. All right, let's go ahead and hit next. All right, it's just telling me what's going on. It looks like we finished our tour, so that's complete. Oh, looks like we can rerun that. Ooh, let's do another one here. All right, this, this is cool. This is very, very, very cool in my opinion. I'm a, as you may or may not know, I'm totally into tutorials and whatnot, and this just seems amazing because, ooh, look at that, there's that validation. So Niels uh, showed this at the uh, Umbraco UK Fest this year, in case you weren't um, there. And let's see, we need to enter my home page, and once we do that, yes, we, we've unlocked it. You know what would be cool? Achievement unlocked, that's the video gamer in me. Yes, I've achieved something, I don't know what. Um, do I have to? Nope, I don't have to add that. This is very cool. Enter home, Ooh, that's not home, there we go. Add a property. Ah, oh, that's interesting. You can tab through here accidentally. Interesting, I wonder if there's a way to hold that focus. Um, you know what, I don't wanna add that. Okay, it's suggesting now that we use an editor you can choose from, blah, blah, blah. And it wants me to select this one. It's kind of off screen here. Ooh, and that's another thing there. It looks like you can, well, now I can't scroll anymore, but initial, oh, yeah, look, so that's kind of a awkward thing here. Uh, let's go back. Can we go back? I broke it, sadly. Um, let me see if I can tab through here. All right, I'm gonna jump out of there. It looks like I uh, found a little bug there. Maybe it's uh, possible for the editor or the, the user to screw up like me. So let's try to get back there. So let's see how it looks like it keeps track of my progress. We're actually not gonna complete that one, but it doesn't look like I can also go through here. So this is clearly a scripted thing where I have to do one before the other. Looks like I have an article I can click on here, get started. Oh, okay, so this will take me right to our Umbraco. Very cool. Videos, uh, let's click on here, Umbraco TV as expected. And great, so I think um, that's pretty much the tours. Now, I know you can, um, according to Shannon, uh, in the Umbraco settings config here, you can enable or disable this. And um, I believe a brand new install, this will be true, and an upgrade this may or may not be false out of the box, so you want to come back here. Uh, and then, it some nerds notes here. So it looks like uh, it creates the config um, in the config section, a back office tour and this JSON file. So let's go ahead and kind of look through here. Let's see if we can give it some more uh, uh, color here. That totally didn't help. Notepad++, you failed me. So it looks like um, 
it's basically the tours are basically are a JSON file here with names, aliases, groups, um, disabling steps, some content. It looks very straightforward here. Uh, we can probably uh, add different links, and it looks like rich content. I'll keep scrolling here. Um, aside from the, I screwed up by accidentally using the mouse wheel it seems to be pretty robust so far okay so let's jump back here so that's not all that's new in 7.8 so what else is new here in 7.8 is also if we go to uh the uh, the tab formerly known as the property tab it looks like it's called info now and this is our link looks like we have a history um neil's also showed here that we can do a publishing on a certain date and a certain time here so that's cool. And then when you change that, notice it says save and schedule down here. Um, it does make ambiguous what save and publish would do when I set this here. We kind of noticed that. Casey Niehaus actually noticed that. Well, we're, we got the demo, so we're not sure exactly what just happened. It looks like the changes were visible, but what happens now on the 9th? Um, but save and schedule is way more clear than, than what it was before. Then you get also have the unpublish here. Um, some GWiz data here, the doc type. Here's where you change your template. Here's your UDI, your your um, integer for the doc uh, or the content ID. And all right, so let's see if we can go to one of these pages and see if we get any history to show up here. Uh, oh, right, cool. There's one there. So this is also mentioned here. So right here we've got kind of an audit trail right in front of us. And that's awesome. So we're going to keep this short today. This is just your basic immersion into a Miraco 7.8 beta. It had a couple bugs because I used a new get upgrade path. I'm sure they'll fix those and, and release them. And I, the load balancing is going to be difficult to kind of discuss and whatnot. So, and so, same with the encryption and all that, the kind of two additional features. So we won't worry about that. And this is your tour of Umbraco 7.8 beta.